Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? The topic for today's video is going to be about what to be careful of when you're transitioning, either medically or surgically. So let me know what you think about it. If you are a transgender individual who is considering taking hormones or having surgeries or know someone who is, this information will greatly help you know what to watch out for to be physically and emotionally ready for the changes your body will make. When you are altering your body, taking hormones, and getting surgery, it's imperative that you be as physically and mentally healthy as possible. This means eating well, exercising, and having a positive outlook on your situation and learning to love who you truly are. If you are a male to female individual taking oral estradiol or a cisgender woman taking oral contraceptives, you should be aware that these hormones deplete your body of vitamin B12. Deficiencies in this vi vitamin, which is rather common since it's not found in many foods, can cause neurological impairment and anemia if not treated. Short-term symptoms can be tiredness and fatigue. I personally love and take Global Healing Center's B12 Blend. I take it once a week and one bottle lasts a year. Also while taking hormones, it's important to be aware that it can cause blood clots. This often happens when one is not physically active, smokes, or has other health conditions. So do yourself a favor and quit the cigarettes, start exercising, and eat foods that will help lower your blood pressure and prevent blood clots. The thyroid gland located in the neck regulates the body's hormones, and since transgender individuals take drugs that alter their natural hormones, it's imperative to see an endocrinologist regularly to test hormones and thyroid levels. Underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, tends to be more common than overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism. If one has an underactive thyroid, they can feel tired and weak. If overactive, they can be anxious and lose weight. Iodine is beneficial for those who have underactive thyroid. This essential element can be, can be naturally acquired from seaweed, but supplements from seaweed exist if needed. When getting surgery, nerves will be damaged and getting sensation back in these areas may not happen for quite a while. However, not many know that the supplement known as CoQ10 is beneficial at repairing nerves. CoQ10 is often not found in many foods, so taking a higher dose supplement will be beneficial at getting the recommended amount to heal. And lastly, another issue for male to female transgender individuals is low testosterone after surgery. While it may seem strange for a post-op trans woman to take testosterone, it certainly does happen because the body no longer produces testosterone. Low testosterone can cause a weakness and fatigue, including diminishing muscle mass and sex drive. Having a small amount of testosterone is important. So if yours is too low, natural supplementation that I personally use are DHEA and creatine. I take Life Extensions DHEA Complete twice a week and Genius Creatine after I work out. Lab work has shown that my testosterone levels have increased. If you have any other supplements you take for your transition that have helped you, please let me know in the comments. The most important thing above all though is to eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. When you are physically healthy, you'll be able to take on the challenges of transitioning and surgery. When it comes to your mental health, know that talking regularly about what you are feeling is helpful to get you in the right frame of mind that is positive and looking forward to change. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day.